Mr. Stubbs the Cat has had one of the most prolific political careers in U.S. history. Oh, hi, Stubbsy. He's been the honorary mayor of Talkeetna, Alaska since 1997. That's right, a mayor cat. <laughs> Every day at 4 o'clock, he goes in there and has a catnip in the wine glass. He survived assassination attempts. Mr. Stubbs is recovering after a reported attack by a dog. And just this month, Stubbs had to address false death rumors. Stubbs is right here, <laughs> alive and well. The founders of the United States endowed citizens with the enormous power of electing our own leaders. And we choose to use our power by electing like a million animal mayors. How do you like your chances on November 4th against all these dogs? It turns out dog mayors are surprisingly common. That white Great Pyrenees named Duke, well, he's the new mayor of the small village of Cormorant, Minnesota. Locals say he roams around, keeping an eye on everyone. Rabbit Hash Kentucky holds an all-animal election every year. CBS did a report on it in 2008. We report today from Rabbit Hash Kentucky, where at least 10 dogs, a cat, and a donkey are running for mayor. Alas, Goofy became the nation's first elected official to be euthanized. But satisfied voters elected another dog. But how are these adorable government shenanigans even possible? Well, most of these towns are unincorporated communities, which means they fall outside any municipality. And that allows residents to form their own little micro-democracies. For instance, residents in Dorset, Minnesota chose to elect a three-year-old named Bobby. As mayor, Bobby leads town events and greets visitors. But his legacy may be making his favorite food, ice cream, the top of the food pyramid. Because it tastes good. Apparently good governance runs in the family because Bobby's younger brother James became mayor a few years later. What are your duties as the mayor? Um, I shake everybody's hands. Things start to get a little fishy when animals try to run in an actual municipality. In 2015, Giggles the Pig ran for mayor in Flint, Michigan. I ain't vote for no pig. <laughs> I vote for a mayor, but I ain't vote for the pig. Other candidates complained about its stunt, and Giggles withdrew from the race. I don't think the pig is 18 or older, and I don't think the pig is registered to vote. They asked the pig about the budget and held a microphone up to him, and he said, wah, wah. Fortunately, everything in Flint has been really great since then. So no, these mayors don't actually hold any power, but... They do teach us a powerful lesson about the nature of democracy and our resentment for everyday politicians and... Eh, not really. They're just adorable. Any last word? This is your mic check. <laughs>